Hi, Michael Canellis with Green Tech Media here, and I'm flying in a helicopter over the Beatrice oil field in the North Sea to see what some say is the future of offshore wind. And thar she blows. What makes these wind turbines different? Take a look at the base. They don't have that sleek tubular monopile like other turbines. Instead, they sit on these four-legged things called jackets, originally designed to prop up oil drilling platforms. Jackets use less than a thousand tons of steel, and that number is gonna go down to 500 tons. That's a lot of steel, but that's a lot less than the single monopile. Less steel means less money to build them, and hence cheaper electricity in the long run. And a lot more of the construction can take place on land, which is another big cost cutter. One of the things that was unique about this whole project was the fact that we pre-assembled the tower of the turbine and the blades onshore and picked up and took the whole thing offshore. That was a lesson that was learned in the oil and gas business that it's always cheaper and easier to do something in a controlled environment onshore than it is to do it in the hostile environment that you come across offshore. Well, we were the first people to, to, to choose and to deploy the 5 megawatt turbine offshore and uh, that's the first of the Repower 5Ms. I think there are now eight of them offshore, six at Thornton Bank, our two. And, and Repower has now in, even further increased the size of that turbine to six megawatts. And the one thing we always have believed in is that you know larger turbines are much more efficient and much more effective offshore. So many of the costs are fixed unit costs per installation and things like that. And as a result, the bigger the machine, the more bang for your buck. In a lot of ways, this is big oil getting into big wind. McCaskill created these wind turbines while working for Talisman, a large European oil company. The turbines, in fact, were created to provide power to platforms out there in the sea. Right now, most oil platforms actually run on diesel fuel, which ironically has to get shipped in from shore. McCaskill split off from Talisman to form Sea Energy Renewables. Sea Energy is now teaming up with large wind companies to build farms out in the North Sea. In fact, they just won two concessions from the UK government to build over two gigawatts of wind. More than 20 copter flights a day take off from this airport in Aberdeen. They take workers out there to work for two weeks. When they drop some off, they bring other ones back. These guys are the terror of the train system and the bars around Aberdeen, according to locals. Because there's no drinking on the oil derrick at all. Safety's taken pretty seriously on these helicopter flights. Before getting on the copter, you have to watch a 10 minute film about how to find a flashlight that's hidden in your pants, as well as find the air tank, and what to do in the event of a crash. It's the only suit I've ever had that has an emergency air supply. The suit also contains a layer of rubber, like a wetsuit, so you'll stay alive for five to 10 minutes until the rescue boat arrives. Burnt Island Fabrication, the company that actually makes the jackets, says they already have 44 orders for these things and will probably be selling 200 a year in about 18 months. They may not be as elegant as traditional wind turbines, but expect to see a lot of them in the future. I'm Michael Canellis for Green Tech Media.